<laughs> is also on strike at Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx. CBS News Christy Kalishan is outside the hospital in Norwood, where nurses have been protesting since early this morning. Christy. Mary, Chris, we've been out here with them since before the sun even came out, and right now it's actually lunchtime. <laughs> People have been out here demonstrating for so many hours. Now they have to take a break for lunch, have some coffee, and actually, if you, we turn around here and I can show you, there's uh, been a drum set out here. There's a band, and look, everybody's making their way up here just to show you. Take a look at this. Just some of what we've been hearing all throughout the morning. And we're dealing with a different situation here. We have um, what we're hearing from uh, nurses here. They're saying that it's Medicaid patients, patients who um, speak, use English as a second language. Um, just some of the factors here. And they're trying to improve the mortality rate of their mothers who are giving birth here. So just a lot of different issues that we're dealing with here. And the nurses here who have been working here, some for decades, say lately it's just been feeling like a business. Here's what they had to say. Economics. You see the minor is mostly minorities here, those who speak a second language, young that don't understand a language. So of course our 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 manager's gonna take advantage of that. Thirty-six year pediatric nurse at Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx, Colette Dobbins, calls it a stab in the heart. In a statement, Montefiore Health System says, quote, despite Montefiore's offer of a nineteen point one compounded wage increase, the same offer agreed to at the wealthiest of our peer institutions and a commitment to create over one hundred 70 nursing positions, and despite a call from Governor Hochul for arbitration, New York State Nurses Association's leadership has decided to walk away from the bedsides of their patients. This is a sad day for New York City. ER nurse Judy Sheridan Gonzalez has been in the profession for 40 years and was at the bargaining table until 3 a.m. on Monday, saying they're close to reaching a deal but have some outstanding issues like this. Montefiore has units with nurses ready to work there, and they close those units, 32 bed units where patients could be in beds. Instead, they put them on hallways, on stretchers, with no toilet, no bathroom, no watering water, no privacy. That is disgusting, and our patients don't deserve to be treated that way. And just take a look at, at this crowd that's coming up here. We actually have a whole marching band out here, just to give you an idea of the amount of attention that they're trying to call out here. All day, these demonstrators have been out here. It looks like they are not letting up. And uh, we were actually just hearing from that nurse. She was describing what is called hallway patience, and that's something that she really hopes comes to an end. One of many issues that they're trying to come, uh, trying to bring a solution to. And this is the latest that we have here in the Norwood section of the Bronx outside Montefiore Medical Center. Christy Kalishi and CBS News. Okay, Christy, thank you.